what's been very rewarding has been the collaboration with the folks at, at Universal. Um, they are clearly the best at what they do. There's a big partnership here, as, as you might imagine. We were trying to bring our ideas, ideas from the movie, to a very, very you know, incredibly experienced professional bunch of theme park builders. It's a really cool mix of movie world and theme park world because Universal have brought a lot of great ideas how to animate a lot of the items that have been created in the movies. We have this great legacy and, and history of uh, entertaining people, of, of bringing movies to life. And it goes back to 1915 when the studio allowed people to come in to witness, you know, the making of movie magic uh, firsthand. And that then developed into, you know, 1964, the world famous tram tour at Universal Studios Hollywood, giving people the opportunity to get right into the middle of the adventure, to come face to face with their favorite characters. But it never stopped there. I mean, it's uh, comic books, movies, television, books. The entire spectrum of popular culture has really been the body of work that we bring to life. For us, it's really about fusing technology and storytelling. Over the years, we've done really spectacular things with media, 3D, 4D film experiences combined with motion bases and even robotic ride systems. The combination of those things is really what makes for a great experience. When it comes to telling a great story, we found no better way to do it than to go to the source working with some of the most brilliant minds in the business. Steven Spielberg as our creative consultant, James Cameron on the blockbuster Terminator 2 3D attraction, Fox Gracie in the making of The Simpsons Ride, DreamWorks in bringing Shrek to life, Steven Summers in The Revenge of the Mummy, and now Peter Jackson and King Kong at the new Universal Studios Hollywood attraction and, and Michael Bay with Transformers. So, you know, the idea of collaborating with uh, great movie makers is something that has just been a way of life for us. Working with J.K. Rowling and understanding what the important pieces of this fiction were and working directly with the filmmakers at Warner Brothers ensured to us that we were going to be able to develop the most authentic and realistic interpretation of this body of fiction. In the wizarding world of Harry Potter, the construction of Hogsmeade gave the designers an opportunity to bring the village to life in ways they couldn't do on a movie set. When we build sets and movies, we build an interior set in one stage and build the exterior in another stage. In Orlando, it'll all be joined together, but it'll still look exactly like the movie set. So people will be able to experience the whole town of Hogsmeade, not just one room. You now you come onto a set and most of it is completely finished, but there's, there's areas in the back where the lights and the cameras will be. What we're creating is, is even more 360. It's a fully immersive environment. You can look down Main Street hogs mead and see from one end to the other. It's something you're never able to do in the film, it's terrific. You walk through the gate, you get to walk past the Hogwarts Express um, and be greeted uh, into uh, the wonderful world of Hogsmeade. Everything that the people have either seen in the films, heard referred to in the films or read in the books. Universal have been as keen as Warner Brothers. We, the filmmakers and Joe, have been to be authentic and absolutely as authentic as possible. When we started thinking of the three broomsticks and what it would become and what its position in the next picture was going to be, uh, Stuart started really thinking, you know, what does the interior of this place look like? We actually had a requirement for it in Harry Potter 6, in the sixth movie, and hadn't designed it yet. So interestingly, the design for the theme park came first, and then we were able to take the best of that and the spirit of that have it so dictate the set for the movie. So the movie has learned and experienced from the theme park. Our space is this same architecture, same finish, the woodwork, everything, and it, the, the chandelier. But the volume of space is twice the sizes. You will be able to have butterbeer, which has the kind of the froth on the top. I'd love to actually try the authentic, proper butterbeer. Maybe we can get some sent over from the theme park to the set because our stuff doesn't taste that great. The flavor of this is great. Real comforting and nice and smooth going down. The first thing I do when I get there, I'm going to go to the Hogshead pub and order myself eight pints of butterbeer. It's not alcoholic, but it's refreshing. People will be able to experience the Hogsheads and experience the, the Hogshead behind the bar growling and sniffling at them. So the Hogshead is actually one of my favorite pubs of the, uh, the Wizard of Lovely spot. It'll be bigger than the one in the film, but foul, rotting, black, filthy, rat-infested. There are limits here. We can't go quite as far as uh, I would like, but uh, we're going to try. 
Honey Duke's sweet shop is brilliant. Honey Duke's has all kinds of wonderful sugar drenched substances in there which all just look fantastic and tasty. You know, all the stuff that you've seen again in the films for, for years that have mainly been eaten by Ron. And his teeth are fine. They have like chocolate frogs, every flavour beans. Some ones we haven't actually done in the film, actually, like the uh, cauldron cakes. There's also going to be stuff like treacle fudge, which I've never heard of before, but sounds like it could possibly be the nicest tasting thing in the world. Imagine kids are just going to be kind of wide-eyed in amazement, kind of wanting everything. It's a great-looking building. In its lofty roof space, it provides perches and homes for the owls who kind of roost up there. And right alongside it is the post office, the owl post office. You can send a letter to anywhere in the world, and it will arrive with a Hogsmeade postal mark on it, which is brilliant. Imagine if you got a letter that was from Hogsmeade. You'd freak out. Coming up, there's more magic waiting for you in Hogsmeade. Every muggle in the world would dream of going into, into Ollivander's and, and for a wand to select a route. Then get ready to take flight with Harry on a forbidden journey. We're flying around the grounds of Hogwarts, we're going to be in Quidditch, we're really being part of the action. 